Sehr verehrte Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer. Dear viewers, these days we approach the 100th anniversary of the beginning of World War I. It might be worth to compare the events then with the current developments in the Ukraine conflict. A proverb says, one learns from damages. This broadcast is intended to prompt for thinking in order to learn from the damages of the past for our present situation. After the assassination of the Austrian prince royal couple in June 1914, Serbia lapsed Austria's ultimatum to investigate this murder case. Thereupon Austria declared war on Serbia in July 1914 and Russia, ally of Serbia, commanded a general mobilization. Consequently, Germany, as ally of Austria, mobilized as well. Russia then lapsed an ultimatum to stop the war preparations against Austria, whereupon Germany declared war on Russia first, and then Russia's ally France. Britain as partner of France, along with Belgium, entered the war as a consequence. Bottom line, due to the alliance policy then, actually meant a strategy of deterrence to prevent war, a regional crisis developed into a global wildfire. Knowing this tremendous damage of the past, we now turn to the current events. Lithuania, Poland and Ukraine recently decided to set up a common military unit named Lit Pol Lurk Brig. It is not a new idea. The so-called Lithuanian Polish Ukrainian Brigade already was agreed on in 2009. In light of the Ukraine crisis, this alliance is being intensively reactivated and pushed. According to Russian experts, the size of these troops are not seen as dangerous from a military perspective. The real explosive is the fact that two NATO states, Lithuania and Poland, would be allies of a non-NATO state, Ukraine. In case of an attack on the Ukraine, the solidarity clause of the NATO would apply and all other NATO countries had to provide military support. A wildfire would then be the unavoidable result like 100 years ago. In the recent months, our broadcasts dealt with how dangerous provocations against Russia are launched in the Ukraine all the time. We showed how the upturn in Ukraine was long prepared and with massive intervention of the USA in connection with targeted disinformation by the Western media and how the Ukrainian people now being stirred up against Russia. The same happened 100 years ago in Serbia against Austria. To what extent all parties concerned will learn from the damage of the past at a proper time and thus a new world war can be avoided, it much depends on the spreading of uncensored news. As Otto von Bismarck splendidly said, Lies can get wars moving, but truths can stop whole armies. With this in mind, stay tuned with us. Goodbye with Klagomar TV.